This has got to be one of the most sus restaurants we've ever gone to. But we're in Mexico, so uh, let's go see how good the birria is. It smells good. Come on. Sí, adelante. Tacos de birria. Birria dorados, naturales. Tacos de cabeza. Dos tacos de birria. Oh, we got the cabeza. Y menudo. Dos tacos de birria. Natural. Natural. Ah, okay. Sí, natural. Let's get dos natural and dos dorados. Dos. Vale. Sí, for both. It's for both of us. Okay. Dos natural and dos dorados. O uno y uno. Uno, uno. Uno y uno. Uno. Uno, uno. So this is the difference real quick. Dorados <laughs> and naturales. Thank you. <laughs> and then they brought something else to the table. Oh, this is just going to be our coriander, our limes, and some sliced cebolla. Anyways, this is the restaurant. People are out here enjoying it. It's really cool vibe because it's literally, literally in someone's like house. Consome? Consome? Si. Si. Okay. Yeah. Consome. The, the oh, how do you know that? Because, I don't know, I just do. <laughs> At least one of us knew here. It's not that we don't really know Spanish, it's it's hard to really understand people with masks. And they talk really fast Spanish here, it's not like in... in it's not in, proper high school Spanish where you learn uh, all the ustedes and, is and all that stuff. Yeah. Consome. Oh. Gracias. Yeah, this looks good. And they give you like a spoon, you can almost taste it, should we? Yeah, go for it, try it. Hot. <laughs> God, that just burned the whole inside of my mouth, but that is really good. Oh, I can't wait to dip a taco in there. Pretty much, we are in someone's house. They built this like kind of barn shelter above us. Like an awning almost. Yeah, like an awning for them to have this restaurant outside of their place. Ah, perfecto. Muy picante, más o menos. Okay, perfecto. Gracias. Okay, so our food has arrived. It came very quick, so check this out. Gracias, Agua, gracias. Jamaica. Instead of using paper plates here, they literally use plastic plates wrapped in paper. Go to my restaurant. Oh, we'll check it out. Awesome. Thank you, my Thank man. Thank you. All right, so one thing I want to point out here is instead of using paper plates, they're using plastic plates with plastic wrapped around it. So they can reuse them. They can keep reusing them. You know, it's pretty efficient if you ask me. So I'm going to start with the naturales. Double tortilla. These tortillas look like they're probably handmade right here. Oh, okay. I'm going to dunk this baby. Mmm. Oh. Mm. That's good. We forgot to dress up our, our tacos though. Add a little bit of lime in there. It is crema. It's, it's delicious. Sí, sí. Sí. Okay. No, mire. It's All inside? Okay. Oh. okay, I'll try it. This was picante? Picante, sí. Fuerte. Poquito. Okay, I put it all. I do it all. <laughs> All right, so now we properly dress these things. We put all the sauces inside. We're going at it again. Mmm. Oh, yeah. We might need to order another round. To do yeah. it the right way. <laughs> Even though we've been eating so much. Man, this this right here is a good birria taco right here. Mm. The last time we had birria was when we went to Teddy's Red Tacos down in Slauson in South LA. How does this compare to Teddy's Red Tacos? This is more homemade versus like establishes that's making it for the masses. Right. Made. This is like we go to our grandma's house and she's cooking us media. This is how it would be prepared. This is how it would taste. Exactly. It's just, it's different. It's different. And, and it's, we're not saying that uh, Teddy's is commercialized or anything like that. They just have like... Teddy's is amazing in its own way. Right. I will say their uh, consume there was very hearty with meat. Mm. And Here's, it wasn't so very... This one's very, very oily. oily. You can see the oil separation on top. And you gotta think about it. In LA, you have to make food that's gonna go to certain types of people. Right. And if it's too oily and too fatty, people aren't, people gonna, aren't eat gonna eat it because it's LA. Here, there's no rules. There's no rules in here, uh -uh. in Mexico. Literally, no, no rules. rules. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna dress this one up properly this time. This is how we're gonna do it. Open it up. I'm gonna squeeze some lime in there. <laughs> then we're gonna grab some salsa verde. Put it in there. Salsa picante. Put a little bit in there. Gonna put some coriander in here. Grab some onions. Put that in there as well. Fresh mica right here. Mm. 
You know what this actually tastes like? A watered down cranberry juice. Kind of. Maybe they're tricking us. Maybe. I, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference now. So. Brown two, this one's more of like a hard shell. Mmm. Mmm. That's the soft one. Mm. I don't know. Both tacos, you have double tortillas. Did the first one have queso in it? No, this one has queso. This one has queso. That's cheese, in case you aren't familiar. We're gonna go back to LA and only be speaking Spanish now. Hopefully. The meat is so fine. The only thing you'd have to worry about, I think, in Mexico, is that there is a possibility here that you can have dog meat because there's so many dogs just running freely. Free yeah. meat, you know what I mean? There's stray dogs just wandering Por about. Por que no? Damn, I like this vibe though. This is what I would prefer, eating at places like this than in a full restaurant. Like, it mm. just feels, you feel the love in the food. You taste the love. It's amazing. And next, we're supposed to eat some brain. This guy came up to us, gave us his card, and told us to go eat at his restaurant. I mean, just by looking at it, it looks like a fancy looking card, yeah. which means it'd be a fancy looking restaurant. And he was here, he rubbing did. on this food. So that's saying something about this yeah, place the, right there. The locals, it's all locals here. This is how we were recommended by our Airbnb. She told us that we had to come over here. She actually even drove us over here. So shout out to her and her family. Honestly, sweet people over at this Airbnb. Super cool. They're literally on top of a fish market. They have a hotel. They built this whole thing up by themselves. And it's really a beautiful thing. It's a family business and we had to support them, you know, because that's what we do best. We support small owned businesses. And if you're coming to Cabo and you don't want the resort experience, mm -hmm. and you want the foodie, like, living with the people, you should definitely check out this Airbnb. We'll list the we'll link list below. below. Check it out. Freshest fish market in Cabo. And look at the shots of this fish, man. It looks amazing. I think I'm gonna order one more. Naturales. In case anyone is wondering what birria is, birria is a Mexican dish from the state of Jalisco. It is a traditional ancestral soup or stew made from a combination of chili pepper-based goat meat, adobo, garlic, cumin, bay leaves, and thyme, and cooked at a low heat. I said cooked at a low temp. I don't think that's low temp. No, that's high. That's high temp. So we got another thing to try now. We got birria alina. Yeah. Which I'm not even sure what it is, to be honest. Should we look it up? Yeah, they just they just surprised us with it. Because they see the camera, they want us to review their food. Check that out. That is our cabeza right there, which is a cow brain. So let's let's send it. I'm gonna decorate it up. The cabeza, one bite at a time. Mmm. Man, this, this rem literally reminds me of something the grandma would make. Yeah. So good. So good. Delicioso. Mmm. Sounds good. Mmm. Man. Comprar mi ropa. BrandonTaylor.com. We See. literally just filmed a video right before this where we were eating more food. So we're really pushing our lucks here, you know? I gotta go on a diet when I get back. See, this is how you know you can't judge a book by its cover. Because if there was a restaurant like this in LA, we probably would be a little bit sketched out to eat here. But since it's Mexico, we sent it, and it was the best decision I think we made all trip long. This is the best place we've had all trip. Mm -hmm. Always trust the locals for the good spots. And this is Jake's bathroom review! This is the most unique bathroom I have ever seen, okay? It's literally a brick wall. Feels like a jail cell. There's no sink, no nothing. The toilet seat cover is literally a piece of wood. And uh, there's a bunch of tools. No toilet paper. Got some wood. Interesting. I don't know if I'll use this restroom ever again, but it is what it is. Look at this little nice little beautiful you got. Hello, hola mi amigos. To consume, I want to consume, if you know what I mean, because God, it's good. Eating birria in, in the heat of Mexico weather isn't always the best idea. I'm sweating from my neck down, all the way down. This ain't no joke. So uh, let's get the bill, let's see how much this is going to cost us, and uh, we'll get on out of here. Amigo, no. Oh, give, give no, them something. No. We, we, thank you. We give you something, though, okay? Okay. A tip. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. It was delicious. Delicioso. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. Los California. Los Angeles. Yeah. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. Los Angeles. Yeah. Gracias. Gracias. Dale, que te vaya bien. Gracias. Have a good one. Have a good one. Wow. Oh my god, okay. Not only are Mexicans the best people that have ever graced the earth, but they make the best damn food ever, man. And, and they literally would not let us pay. They wouldn't let us pay. We gave them what we had in pesos, which is I think 100 pesos. I don't even know. I gave them 140. 140. So uh, I don't know how much that is, but it's something. You know, I think that's not even really much. I know. I think it's like five bucks. Yeah, I should go more. Should we go give them more? 
Okay. We appreciate you guys. Thank you. Those tacos were definitely worth it. Like I said, don't judge a book by its cover because if you saw this driving by, you might not stop. But that's the best food I think I've eaten on my whole Mexican trip. That wraps up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, comprar mi ropa, brandontaylor.com. And until next time, I'll see you guys back on the stateside. Peace.